Hi, I'm Mo. I'm Genoa. And today we're having the, the sex, sex talk. talk. And today we're having the sex talk in Palm Springs. Here on the golf course. Beautiful putting green. Um, today's question comes to me from a friend of mine, actually. And he says, Mo, how come girls don't like me? That's a really good question. And I thought it would be great for us to answer it together. But what is the best way to get okay, romantic sure. interest? And sure. it doesn't mean male or female, and it doesn't have to be gay or straight. It's just a general mm -hmm. question. Right. Maybe you have found yourself really shooting blanks. Like, you go out, you try to meet people, nobody's interested, you're, you're not getting anywhere asking people out, it's not working. And you're constantly getting rejected, mm -hmm. and that always sets in and makes you feel really bad about yourself. Right. So then what? And then it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy, because then you're walking out there and you're feeling rejected, and then you're going to get rejected. And so what do you do? And then you start creating a story about yourself, well, I'm not lovable, no one likes me, I must not be good looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we unwind the story? So I think... One thing that you need to do is um, start with you mm -hmm. and focus on yourself. And um, because if you don't love yourself first, no. then you're not going to be attractive to other people. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a, a second piece to that. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself first mm -hmm. also makes you not so concerned about whether other people are thinking about you. Absolutely. Right? If so you're like comfortable in your own skin, the, the people, if you get real and honest, the people that, when you're at a party and the people that everybody sort of likes at that party, they're really comfortable within their own skin. They're comfortable with themselves. So what do you need to do to get to that point where you are comfortable in your own skin? I say, number one, ask yourself, what do you really love to do? Who are you? Mm -hmm. And focus on those things that you really find interested in. Maybe you like to take do photography, maybe you're a mm -hmm. musician, maybe mm -hmm. you're a writer. Mm -hmm. What is your passion? And really just go for, for those things, things yeah. that you really enjoy. Seriously, when people are in their element and they're um, doing playing music or doing something that they feel really passionate about, they're attractive. Those are it's attract it's an attractive quality when people are comfortable in their skin, doing something that they love and really focused on that. Um, you can't be self conscious when you're really in the moment. Yeah, it's true. And when you're really focused on something that you're mm -hmm. you're doing that's outside of what other people think about you. Right. Yeah. And what are your insecurities? Like deep down, do you are you insecure? Do you have stuff you need to work on? Do you need to find someone to work on your stuff with? And a, that's a therapist maybe. Right. I was just about to say it's funny I, when you said that. I was just thinking that many people seek a partner or someone to be in a relationship with because they don't want to have to deal with that side. Right. You find someone that's going to like hold up the other parts of you that you aren't right. actually bringing to the table. Right, right. Like, you know, telling you how you're great. You're looking for someone to complete you, whereas mm -hmm. I think what we're saying is you need to first complete yourself, and then you'll be able to find someone to show, share your life with. Yeah, show up a complete package with something to offer. And I don't mean monetary things. I mean, just what, what, what do you know you have and you feel good about? And I think knowing what it is you bring to the table, it doesn't have to be monetary. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to even be book smarts or anything of that mm -hmm. sort but just that confidence that you know that you're okay mm -hmm. in your own skin yeah is going to sort of exude that confidence to get other people to be attracted to yes you. and I think therapy is a really good option for that I mean it's it's really a good idea to go find a therapist that can help you get to the other side she's available <laughs> to help you get to the other side so you know who you are you feel comfortable in your own skin you know what you have to offer you know what you like you know what you want to do you also know who you're looking for and and so not getting to know yourself really well and PS desperation is not attractive you just it's just not so you have to be comfortable where you are and okay with what's happening even though you want to meet someone you're really okay in your own skin yeah p.s. pickup lines don't always work we talked about that in another one but <laughs> they don't always no they <laughs> never work and you know so when you're being when you're using a pickup line you're not genuinely being yourself mm -hmm. most people will pick up on that yeah for so, sure you yourself. don't play a part just be you and do whatever it takes for you to get comfortable being you and you know what you're gonna meet someone who's gonna love you once you are authentically you are you an angel <laughs> Did you just fall from heaven? Did you fall? Oh my god. I think this was the sex talk. The sex talk.